Good evening. Tonight we're hearing from a fam from family and friends of a man who lost his life while trying to save his brother from drowning. It happened at Pike River in Kenosha on what was supposed to be a fun family day. Mary Jo Ola talks with the family and why this river has been dangerous in the past. But I was not surprised on the fact that he he got into the water to help with the brother because that was the type of guy he was. Hearts are shattered after 39 year old Adrian Sanchez Trujillo died last weekend. Authorities and witnesses say his brother was swimming in the Pike River in Kenosha County and started to struggle. Adrian rushed in, got his sibling to safety, but then he went under. No, no, podía... I couldn't believe it because he was going to celebrate his birthday. He was so happy. We talked with Adrian's sister, Sitlali Sanchez, over Zoom through a translator. She was emotional. The day Adrian died, family and friends were getting together for his birthday. Adrian, era una persona... Adrian was a generous person. He always took care of his family. Su familia. First responders tried to find Adrian, but he was under the water for more than an hour by the time they got to him. Siempre actuó de manera... He always acted as the protector. Así, protectora. Tragically, what happened here is a reminder that any body of water can be dangerous. Preliminary data from the medical examiner's office shows seven people drowned in Kenosha County last year. The Safety Around Water Coalition found that since 1985, eight people died in the Pike River in Kenosha County. Juan Isaguere is Adrian's boss. Over long hours working construction, they grew close. He will, he will uh, advise me on how to be a good dad, how to be a good man for my wife and stuff like that. Adrian came to the U.S. a few years ago for work. Most of his earnings went to support his wife and three kids in Mexico. He dreamt of being reunited with his family this year. Now his family is overcome with grief and struggling to bring his body home. Mary Jaola, TMJ4 News.